think with this mentality, it's like who you are, it's like your makeup or your DNA. Talk about a little bit of where your dispensing mentality came from. Just, you know, just everything that came with that. What, what, what was the influence and the influences that, you know, played into defense? Well, I'm the baby of six. Mm, okay. So I had to find my oh, room wow. at the table. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I had to find my room at the table. You had to create some room, huh? So I had huh? to create it. So like you said, it's a part of your DNA. Right. And when I played, I didn't want anybody to feel mm. like you could score on me. Mm. I really believe that on that end, it was about dictating. You okay. dictate the flow of the game on right. that end. Right. And yeah. it all started with the point guard position. Right. It starts with us at the top. Right. Whether it's True. offensively or defensively, True. it starts right. with us at the top. Right. So when you were coming at me, I, I thought I thought if you were green and like no. Muhammad, Muhammad Ali said this, I'm kind of missing up on my W's and M's like this. <laughs> <laughs> If you go to sleep dreaming that you're going to beat me, wake up and apologize. Right, as you should. Wake up and apologize. I want to know something. Is it more self-pride, Theo? A lot of self-pride? Listen, I like a lot of people don't know this, man. I I, I actually uh, give you this. I've never seen anyone block shots with two hands <laughs> other than Theo Rattler. You, you body? No. Man, we, we know we're we shot blockers, man. Like yeah. that. Talk about a little bit of that, man. Just your influences in defense, man. Man, I mean... Definitely my influence, my coach, my junior high coach, okay. you know, and, okay. and he said to me a long time ago, it's a lot of people that know how to play offense, but it's not a lot of people that love to play defense. Mm, right. And once he, once I recognized that, it just became my mentality from junior high. You know, I've been doing this since junior right. high. No doubt, no doubt. Blocking a lot of shots. And then as I came into the league, I had a, a coach that was a defensive coach from Indiana. Right, right, had right, Larry right. Brown. Right, right. And you know how Larry right, Brown right, is about right. defense. Right, right, and, right. And having that anchor with, with Eric Snow and Aaron McKee and all those guys, sending those guys like Smooth mm -hmm. was talking about. Right, right, right. Send them all to me, baby. Right. Send them all to me. <laughs> Theo, were you, you always the tallest? Just go get it, were, you always, were you always the tallest kid a, a lot of times? Nah. I wasn't. I wasn't. I was. I was probably where six feet in eighth, ninth grade. Okay. I just continued to grow, continued to grow. I grew three inches in oh, college, wow, my wow. first year of college. And defense was so, a natural flow for you. Yeah, defense was a real natural flow for okay. me because, like you said, you want to stop people. Right. I, that had yeah. that mentality. When I played against you, when right. I played against whoever it was, right. when they came in my area. That's what I was going at it. That's what Beat it, it up. That's what it was. Beat it up. <laughs> Beat it up. Beat it up. Talk about a little bit of your mentality, man, just when it comes to defense and your influences, you know, people you looked at and, and studied. Hold on, hold on. Boom. <laughs> hey, listen, was that not, hey, listen, no bull. Hey, listen, was that not the hottest thing? What? Listen, yeah. That was the hottest thing in the league. I'm just sitting there. I'm just sitting there. I'm just sitting there waiting on that. And then, like, Rich Jeremy, you and Comedy Union, doom. Boom. I'm gonna get the chills come up my neck, dog. No bull. Go ahead. My bad. I didn't mean to kill that. No, it was good. It was good. It was good. Going to the best, dog. That bell. Whoo. <laughs> yeah, I, I love that bell. <laughs> but, um, my defense mentality, um, you know, like Spoon said, man, it came to me for, in an early age. You know, I'm 10 of 11. Oh, wow. Whoa. You know, I oh, got okay. seven older brothers. Oh, wow. They I'm the baby me. boy of the wow. family. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I feel you. So, oh, wow. And I grew up, I was the smallest. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, I, all my brothers are big. Can you imagine that? So I, I'm imagining when I took the, too. When I took the court, you know, I had to, I had to do something different. They was not going to pass me the ball. You know, they had a heated battle going back and forth, back and forth. They weren't going to pass me the ball. Right. So I had to play defense. Right. So once I figured out that I was quicker than a lot of guys, my size, you know, I can steal the ball or I can get a couple blocks, you know, it became personal. Now right. it's one-on-one. -on -one. Right. Me against you. You can take all the fans out the stand. You can take everybody else off the floor. Right. It's just me Finally, and you. you. And there's no way you're going to beat me. I love it. I, I love refuse it. to lose. I love it. I love it. G-Tel, talk about we never, you know what, I like to, I like to quote, I like to uh, give you the credit for a lot of people don't know this. We was in uh, 1999, uh, 2000 um, uh, All-Star Game. We was in Oakland, California, and uh, it was three people left in the gym after a whole bunch of media and stuff. We had just got done with practice, and you took me and Cole to the side and taught us how to keep our feet position-wise, how to keep uh, the man in front of us, how to use hand rip up. I, I remember mm -hmm. just like it was yesterday. It was me, Gary Payton, and Kobe Bryant, <laughs> and... Cole stayed with you for about an hour after that. Mm -hmm. And I remember that. And that was the first year he made defensive. Mm -hmm. no, yeah, he made defense right. first team. Right. And uh, no one knows that story. Um, obviously, Cole went on to be, obviously, one of the greatest to ever pick up a ball. But from a defensive standpoint, man, talk about a little more of your influences and people that you looked up to as far as, you know, playing D and where that DNA comes from. Well, first, 
I want you to say it. Who, don't me? you do it? I don't want to know where it came from with you. Let's 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 do that first. You know what I'm saying? You went to me. I want to hear about your situation. I gotta hear about your situation. I'm gonna be honest, man. Um, you know, in high school, very similar to Theo, probably being, you know, being the tallest, they put you in the middle. And um, you know, Kenny Anderson, guards, I, you know, I was in love with Kenny Anderson and Magic Johnson, so I was always handling the ball, but you know, it's like defense is like um, you know, I'm I'm one of uh three. You know, I got two sisters. You know, you know, you have sisters, you, you get all kind of dirt bags and goofballs coming <laughs> to the door, you know, so you become like a guard dog. Yeah. You got sisters, you know what I'm talking about. So, you know, I like to... <laughs> Excuse me. Man. Excuse me. Right. Well, your M's and P's are fun. That's a 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 I like to think that that mentality came from that, you know, guarding the hole. You know, you know, we take pride in, in that lane, man. When you're taught to protect the basket, you're taught first off as a guard dog, as as that. And I and I I was taught that at an early age. Um, to you know, I would not only be a you know a, a big brother, but you know, I translated that to the court to defend, to helping my teammate uh, defending this paint. So when I got into the league, man, I just didn't want to be. The average 6'11 guy being, you know, I want to be able to be able to be agile, move the ball. But when I get switched off with the guard, I didn't, I didn't mind that. Body of Terry, I didn't mind that. And I loved it that the guard thought that I was so, so I got into all that. It was more of a personal vendetta when I got into one-on-one -on -one play. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's where my influences come from. Plus, I'm super competitive. Yes, absolutely. Well, me, you guys, I didn't, when I was growing up, I didn't really want to play defense. Mm. I didn't. I was an offensive-minded guy. Uh, when I went to Oregon State and got with Ralph right. Miller, mm, okay. he told me when we went to the first practice, we practiced without basketball for a week. Mm. So we always had to do defense slide. That's what he was on. Mm. So he was like, feet. you got good hands and feet. <laughs> he said, you got good hands and feet. And he said, you're going to be, if you listen to me, you're going to be one of the greatest defensive players that ever played oh, wow. the game. Uh -oh. And I listened to him, and then we played a system where we pressed all the time. Mm. And he put me in the middle, and I started getting a lot of steals, a lot of things. And then I started thinking about it like this. If I get four or five steals and get four or five layups, how many points is that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> 10, 12 right. points, and that's right. easy for me. Now, right. I got 12 already right. on easy buckets. Mm. Now, the harder buckets come. I can go five for 30 or something, and I'm still at 25, yeah. 26 yeah. points. Right. So I was thinking like that, and then it became fun. Then I started thinking about... I'm not going to let nobody else outscore me because if he scored 30 and I scored 30, it's like we ain't even there. Right, it's a right, wash. Right. And then people start calling me on the phone, talking about, oh, he got yeah, in 30, you, boy, right, he got right, that. Right, right, right. And now when they start seeing me at 30 and he had 12, they was like, boy, you lock that boy up, boy. Mm -hmm. And that's what I start getting into the mentality is I'm going to lock everybody up. How old are you right now? When you're 49. Doing no, no, no. How oh, old wait. are you when you're doing this right here during this period? During this time of period, I was like only 17. 17, 18 mm. years old. When did you come? When, when were you superior, G? When you know, man, I can lock this up. I can get this stop. When did you become superior of your craft? KG, I think it was like 94. 94 when I started locking people up and I started mm. doing it at, at will. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The one person that made me really, really want to play defense in the NBA and I wanted to get him all the time was John Stockton. Mm. I wanted to get him all the time because right. he always put me off picks. Mm. He oh, was yeah. always everywhere. Right. He would double angles. back and get a steal. Right. He mm. always was somewhere, man, and I had to pay attention he to him fast. so much. He wasn't, fast, wasn't right. fast and he played the game so slow and he was really, 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 really accurate at everything he did. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. He only right. shot the ball 12 times, right. made nine. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Free throws the same but way. He's productive, but he's productive. Yeah. Productive, so I right. said, man, I gotta stop him, and that's what I wanted to do. Coming off them picks, I had to play the pick and roll right. I had to do a lot of things right, so I started just playing off of him. Mm. You know, Michael Jordan and all them dudes, they was kind of easy because you knew where they was gonna go. Right. They were gonna go to a spot. spot. Mm. They wanted to be right. at a spot and get the ball. Right. Him, you play him 94 feet. Right. So you're saying those right. guys who slow and methodical, right. those are the ones you really have to pay attention you to. You gotta pay attention to him because he know that he ain't as athletic as you yeah. are. Right. Yeah. Right. And he knows he gotta do more things. So they play their brain more and they get better, they play the game more. Right. They get more smarter than yeah. stop you. And stop, yeah. and go, stop and go. Stop and go. Get you offensive fouls. Right. Make you get into things that you don't really 
really want to get into. Right. And that's what he did to me in my first Great three or four guy. years in the league. Great and then guy. I caught on to him, and then I became the best point guard in the league in 94, yeah. 95. So then it was over then, and then I just started being from there. I just started getting better and better and better. And then I started leading the league in steals. Yeah, yeah. So and then in I that won. competition, you're saying you grew as a player as right. well. In that competition, sound, right? taking right. something from people. Sound, and you right? know what? I idolize, I idolize John Stockton right. so much yeah. right now because he taught me that. Yeah. Yeah. He taught me where I learned. A lot of people in the NBA don't idolize another player yeah. while right. they're playing against them. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I did. I idolized this dude. You know what I'm saying? And I said, I'm going to stop him. You know what I'm saying? If I beat him, I'm going to become somebody. Mm, and that's right. what I did. That's I became like somebody. Like KG just right. said, it's hard to. It's because you don't want him to know that. Right. Because we're competing. Right. We, right. We, right. We, right. we going at it, but I'm, right. I'm watching you. I'm watching him all I'm the time. everything you do. And I didn't tell him. I didn't <laughs> tell him. I just told him after I got him. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I said, man, mm-hmm. I got this from you. This is what I right. wanted yeah. to do. And Deep that was the way it was. Yeah. Deep some mentality in here, man. Yes, sir. Woo. We can go all night. We in here. You know what it is? You Woo. know. Lock up. 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 Lock